guys welcome back to our vegan kitchen I've got an old favorite for you today in college yeah I ate the hell out of Jamaican beef patties they're so tasty and cheap and um, I'm gonna try and make some vegan today I made this recipe before this is my version of the edgy veggies uh, Jamaican beef patties and let's just say I've never had a complaint <laughs> So we're going to start off by um, making the crust. Let me just say, everybody in the comments, this is not healthy. It's full of oil. It's uh, got some replacement meat in there. Don't come for me. <laughs> this is just nostalgia, baby. This is going to take me back to college days. And boy, do I need to go. I need a vacation from life. All right, so the crust, pretty simple. We're going to start off with four cups of flour. And yeah, you can do this uh, by hand, but I have a KitchenAid and I'm a little spoiled, so I'm just going to do this in my KitchenAid. And my wrist really hurts right now. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm going to... You're allowed to use your mixer. It's okay. I'm going to use my mixer today. All right, so we got four cups of flour. So basically, this is a pastry. So yes, we're going to do the cold water thing. Uh, I've got the four cups. She recommends using veggie shortening and vegan butter. And I believe both of those are either hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated. So I'm just going to go with some straight up coconut oil. I wish my subscribe and save was here with my butter flavored coconut oil. Because I would definitely use that one. But we're just going to use this one today. And yeah, hold on to your... Uh, shorts it's one cup of oil it's one cup oh boy <laughs> yeah this doesn't make me happy so <laughs> i'm just gonna you know pour it in there <sighs> i can feel my heart constricting <laughs> already <laughs> don't say that <laughs> it's gonna be okay don't worry about it it's one meal one meal only we're also going to be adding one and a half tablespoons of turmeric, turmeric, yellow stuff. <laughs> be careful with this. It stains like a mother. So you don't want to get this on your clothes because you're not getting it out. Look at that. I guesstimated. Whoa. Congrats to me. <laughs> We're also for later I'm gonna use um, one tablespoon of salt this needs a little flavor so we're gonna put some salt in there and we're gonna sprinkle on a half a cup plus two tablespoons of cold water so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the half a cup read the room and see where my dough is at and then if I need to add the two tablespoons I will so meet me over at the mixer all right I had some ice cubes in here previously, but you could see from the condensation that it's it was cold. So I'm going to do my half cup and we're going to start to mix. Yes, this is loosey goosey, but when it goes in the refrigerator, it's going to firm up like a proper pastry dough. I have to say it looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to need the extra water. We don't want to overmix because this is a gluten flour and it can be uh, quite tough and we don't want it to be tough. We want it to be nice and uh, soft but firm. <laughs> so let's check. This looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to hold together. So we're going to finish this off uh, by hand, mold it into a nice ball, wrap it up in saran wrap, and let it sit in the refrigerator for 15 to 20 minutes. And we're back. The dough is chilling in the fridge right now. We're going to cook the filling. And this is so good. It smells amazing it smells already. smells so good, yeah. This recipe was originally written before Beyond uh, Burgers and Beyond uh, Chop Meat, Beyond Beef. So this is the first time I'm making it with that as the meat substitute. The last time I made it, I think I used the Gardein, uh, chop, you know, chopped meat, mince, whatever it is. And it was okay. 
but I am dying just thinking about how this how good this is gonna be so the filling gets cooked on the stove in a fry pan so we're gonna start by sauteing our onions so we're gonna put our pan on medium-high and I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil uh, Edgy Veg used uh, vegan butter, but I'm going to link her original recipe in the info box and I'm also going to have a crude description along with all of my ingredients that I chose to use in the info box as well. So you can pick either of ours or neither of ours. You can make up your own. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to wait for this to get hot. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Alright, so we got the onions in there. We're going to get them going. I'm using four Beyond Burgers. Basically, it's the same thing as getting the little block of the chopped meat. I think this might be just a little bit more than the block of chopped meat, though. I think the block of chopped meat's a couple ounces less. But we're hearty eaters, so <laughs> we're going to go with that much. I have all my spices uh, measured out here already. How beautiful. Right? We have a nice bouillon cube. We have some turmeric, some ginger, some garlic, some cumin, allspice, cardamom, thyme, and harissa. She recommended using a scotch bonnet pepper. My family does not like spicy food, so this is a stretch just going with the harissa because that's going to add a little bit of spice, but nothing like the scotch bonnet I like it spicy but I'm outnumbered so I don't want everyone to have uh, acid reflux tonight so we're gonna go less spicy so as soon as these uh, get going we're gonna add the uh, Beyond Beef in there so that it all cooks together I just want to get a little bit of transparency on these onions first and then once we get all of this in the pan cooking we're gonna roll out the dough. Alright, we're gonna add the meat. And this cooks up just like chopped meat, only uh, it doesn't take as long because um, it's not actually meat. And I didn't add um, that much extra oil because these burgers are like super oily. So I kind of had to adjust the recipe a little bit because um, the garden wasn't as oily. All right, now we're gonna put all our spices in. Beautiful, mm -hmm. it's gonna smell amazing in here in 4.5 seconds. It already does. Why, thank you. Don't worry about the bouillon cube. Once we put the tomatoes in there, it's gonna break up. All right, also in the original recipe, um, some A1 steak sauce, which is accidentally vegan. Did you know? Mm. <laughs> So I'm going to keep it in just because I don't want to be that girl who was like, oh, I wish I had put that in. It would have been so good if I had put that in. And then the final ingredient on this part is going to be one can of diced tomatoes and all the liquid too because I didn't um, use any water for the bouillon cube. So I'm using the tomato liquid for that. Oh yeah. Yes. We're going to give this a stir and once this comes up to the simmer, we're going to let this simmer for probably about 20 minutes while we're making our little uh, cupcake shells. All right, so we're um, <laughs> we're rolling out our dry dough here. <laughs> um, I'm wondering now, hey, did I really need that extra two tablespoons? Probably. <laughs> But we're going to make the best of it here. Um, I'm not going to do the meat patties. I'm going to do, uh, I actually made these for a party the first time. So I'm just going to um, cut out a nice circle. This is going to be like the little pie part. And then I'm going to put a circle over the top. Mm. I remember I did it like this because I thought, oh, this would be really good. And I was running short on time <laughs> the first time I made them. So I'm going to roll these all out. This is probably going to make about two to three dozen cupcakes. Or I don't think you should call them cupcakes. <laughs> savory Jamaican... Jamaican beefcakes. Beefcakes. Oh, beefcakes. Hey. 
So let me um, embarrassingly roll these out as they crumble <laughs> a little bit. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna taste great though. I'm sure. And the, um, the meat mixture over here, yes, it's gonna cook for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes, but make sure you give it a stir every five or so minutes because you don't want it burning because the uh, Beyond Beef can be a little bit temperamental and make sure you mash it uh, too because if you remember Jamaican beef patties have like that pasty texture on the inside yum 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 yeah so you want to cook this down as much as possible you want the onions and the tomatoes falling apart all right guys here's my beautiful mixture the mm. filling I'm doing things a little bit different this time I'm doing half uh, beef cakes and I'm doing half uh, like a pie situation because this is my only non-stick uh, cupcake pan, so I, you know, I don't want to be doing this forever today. Yeah. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try this out, Jamaican beef pie. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill up each. Maybe we should move this a little closer. Yeah, that might be a good <laughs> idea. I'm just going to fill up each Oh, it smells so good. As much as I can. I don't want to overfill it. But you get the idea. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have some of uh, the dough uh, rolled out here. I'm going to take my shot glass and make, um, that's not very sharp, is it? No. Really got to crank it. All right, there we go. And we're just going to put that on the top. So fancy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that on that. It kind of looks like the Target thing. A little bit. <laughs> the Target Jamaican beef patty. And then this one, I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to put uh, little circles on the top as well because I don't want to do a full crust on the top because the bottom is pretty meaty. So now this is going to go into a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. And then we're going to be ready to eat. And it's going to be amazing. Hello. Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. <laughs> How excited are you for I'm this? very excited. These We've smell got so good. The children of Destiny's Child over here. <laughs> These are children of Destiny? Yes. So we got oh. Octo Mom and her kids, and we got some beautiful uh, broccoli and carrots. Ooh. So these are the Littles. That's a nice pie. You could slice that up and uh, mm -hmm. have a wedge with some salad on the side, maybe. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try one of these Littles. All right. Oh, yeah. It smells really good. It's got that beautiful crust. It's nice and flaky, too, that crust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Like that for sure. mm. That is delicious. Not too spicy, right? Mm -mm. But a little bit of kick. A little bit little bit of kick. That is beautiful. I'm glad you're enjoying it because you were the most excited for this recipe. You've been I waiting know. for a few weeks for this. I've been begging and begging. <laughs> you finally got your wish. It's so good, especially with the um, Beyond. Right. Ooh. And it, it really wasn't that hard to do. No. Just a lot of different spices. Right. So, um, yeah. Turmeric. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got my plate ready. I'm going to be filling this up for dinner. Yep. That, that, some of that. Beautiful. All right, you know what to do. Yeah, if you guys enjoy this, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let us know if you make this, and I think you should. Yes. Because it's really, really delicious. And if you're not already subscribed, why not consider a subscription? It's free. Yeah, so <laughs> stay safe out there. If you're going out, wear a mask. And uh, until next time, much love. <laughs>